have already shuffled in, we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Page of Swords, and it's with the King of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords can stand for conflict, mild conflict. Just know that whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, it can indicate youth, it can indicate a student, it can indicate immaturity. It can also indicate that um, someone is younger than you, could be younger by a few days, a few months, a few years, and for some of you, a few decades. Yeah, some of you do get down like that, but that's a little bit about the Page of Swords. It's also the type that will keep tabs on you, will stalk you, they'll watch you. They do things that a lot of people don't appreciate. It could feel like this person is stepping on your toes. And this could be how you feel or how you were feeling your person was toward you. you could, some of you, you felt like you were dealing with someone that was on the immature side. Or maybe they were just younger than you. This person did silly stuff. They kept tabs on you. They stalked you. They watched you. And they could have been maybe uh, on the on the dra dramatic side. Maybe a drama queen or a drama king. Yeah. And because this page of swords is... It's clarified by this king of swords. Well, this is telling me that... You could have felt like you were ready to detach from from your person. And for a lot of you, you had to do it with force. Yeah, King of Swords is a very forceful type of energy. It, it can be very cold, very bold and sharp and abrasive and mean. And that's how you felt you had to be with your person. For some of you, you cut them out. The King of Swords will cut out and will be really nasty about it. King of Swords does not really need a sword. The King of Swords will cut you with their words. And that's how you felt you had to be towards this person. Because they were, they did things you really didn't appreciate. And like I said, a lot of you cut this person out. And because um, you were dealing with um, someone like this, you, for some of you, you were dealing with the Aries, a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius. Yeah, so that's a recent past energy. You, you cut someone out or you put your foot down. You became very firm and stern with this person. Because they just did things you didn't appreciate. They felt like they were stepping on your toes. Some of you cut this person out. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Ace of Pentacles and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now the Ace of Pentacles is beautiful. It's about, whenever you hear the word Ace in the tarot, it's about new beginnings. So... Yeah, you could be ready for a new beginning. You've a lot of you. You've already cut this person out. You're done with the dramat, the dramatics of this connection or the person. You cut them out. You're ready for a new beginning, and it's gonna get started with the Ace of Pentacles. You feel like the connection is just too difficult. Ten of Wands is here. The card that's below the word present. You see how he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. 
Well, for a lot of you, that's how you felt dealing with this person. So you're going towards a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles can bring new beginnings on several levels. So this is actually good. Yeah, you're going to lift that burden. You're going to stand up tall and straight and walk strong and forward without falling backwards. So wonderful. Yeah, a lot of you, you felt like this person was sucking the life out of you. That's what you get with the Ten of Wands also. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got this High Priestess ends with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so the High Priestess, it can be about just going silent on someone. You're sitting pretty and you're going silent. Yeah. They they could um Ten of Pentacles is here though. Ten of Pentacles is about actually it's a really good card in the deck. Everyone wants a Ten of Pentacles in a reading. It's a place to call home. It can mean a lot of money. It can mean commitment. It can mean wanting a relationship with someone. So this person they feel that you you're detaching or you cut them off. They do want a relationship with you. Yes, they do. Ten of Pentacles is the end all be all. They wanted something special with you. They could have wanted the relationship to go to, to the next level. This person was magnetically drawn to you. And you probably didn't even know it. Because the High Priestess can be a, a potent time. For love, you could find people just drawn to you. And this is how your person felt about you. Or maybe they're starting to feel this way about you now. Because they see that you've pulled back. And they see that you, you're being stern and strict this time. And they, they, they want something serious with you. They probably always felt this way, but now they want it even more. Yeah, they see that you, you're, you're being serious and you're just not taking any BS anymore. And it's making them feel more pulled to you. They're, they're finding you more attractive, I guess, because you're, you're not standing for anything anymore. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Two of Swords and it's with the Knight of Wands. Well, the Two of Swords, it's telling me that some of you, not all of you, some of you are going to choose to ignore the warning signs about this person. Because the Two of Swords will do that. But it's with the Knight of Wands. So this time you're going to make sure you don't put all your eggs in one basket with this person. Knight of Wands, a card below the word outcome. It's an in and out type of energy. So you kind of realize that you just need to have one foot in and one foot out with this person. And for some of you, like I said, you've already cut this person out. King of Swords cuts out. So you've already cut them out. Like I said, they could be reaching out to you wanting to have um, you back because the Ten of Pentacles... It can be about a second chance also. So, they're feeling even more, like I said, more attracted to you, more drawn to you. They'll be reaching out if you two are not in communication. But it looks like the Two of Swords, some of you, you're going to choose to avoid and block this person. Yeah. So, those are the storylines that I'm getting for you Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. 
how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person or p people could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.